In the wake of the spread of the coronavirus, many have raised concerns about a massive outbreak of the if the disease hits the slums. The reason, they say, is simple, overcrowding. Today, the Joy Clean Ghana campaign visited Old Fort Dama to assess the situation and how they are coping, and most importantly, observing the social distancing. Nancy Mifa Tredozi was with the team in our reports. Meet 29-year-old Muniru, a food vendor who resides at Old Fadama here in Accra. She and 10 others have been living in the structure for 15 years. After insisting the room was big enough to accommodate them all, environmental officers decided to assess the place. The room was dark. So, um, 11 people live in this room. How do you guys sleep? We sleep well. We didn't sleep well. You don't sleep well yes. Well. We had to turn on the touch lights of our phones to see. And it is actually filled with a lot of clothes, bags, shoes, and other things. And this small space available is what 11 people share. They tell me that there's no space in between them and when they lie on the floor. Inspector Sitanga was not happy. I see the, how the room is very small, with crowded food, restaurant articles, clothing, used clothing, their personal clothing. There is no window, no ventilation. So if 11 people are sleeping in this particular room, we can imagine the risk that these 11 people, if they are able to get in contact with another 11 people, multiplied by the week that we are working, how many are we getting to? So this room alone can give us a multiplication of 100 and over per the week. And let's look at the, 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 the way the area is crowded and overpopulated. We went back to ask Muniru how they managed to sleep in a room without proper ventilation. Yeah, oh, fan, eh? Fan, no way. A standing fan. Yeah, a standing fan. Me pa chow, se si ano. We say mu ya seven we eleven workers, but seven na da da inu mu. Ni pa seven no end da da inu mu. Pa chow, ye be hiya se. Ude we juma eh boss number be ma yeng. Ye pesa ya nene kasa. Se ni ye be ya obe buamo. It is for this reason that the People's Dialogue on Human Settlement, the Ghana Federation of the Urban Poor, and the Crown Metropolitan Assembly organized a sensitization program for residents of Accra's biggest slum, Old Fadama. Chairs were arranged two meters apart, social Headquarters, truck pushers, and food vendors shared their challenges and suggested solutions. Executive Director of the Pupils' Dialogue on Human Settlement, Farouk Rabiu Braima, stressed the importance of education. He disclosed their research shows slums will be most affected if there's an outbreak. We also know clearly that uh, when it comes to the fights, it will either be won or lost in the Zongo's inner citizen slums. And so that's why we are presenting this model as a national model, the community-led response and management of COVID-19 to the entire country. Let's adopt it. Let's keep it running so that communities will take control. Uh, we did an assessment a few days ago by People's Dialogue. And what we realized is that these are people who live in exceptionally challenging environments. As you would find in the videos, we are overcrowded and they say isolation. We have no rooms, you talk of quarantine. We have no food, you say we shouldn't go out to work. And so, so these are issues that we need to address. There is no water in the community. As Just when the exercise ended, one of the environmental officers, Madame Florence Foley, told the crew what she found on her way to the event. Uh, in the morning when I was coming for this gathering, I met a job operator who was recycling disposable spoons. She washed them and was packing packaging them nicely as if it was from the store. So when I stopped and asked her why she was doing that, she asked me who I was. So I said, well, in this era, why trying to do this? She told me I should get away from her. Mother Florence Kuchi explained the dangers associated with that practice. 
Yes, yeah, so people who do this, it can easily lead to communicable diseases, not necessarily COVID-19. There are a lot of diseases that somebody can even acquire. Typhoid fever is there and all that. So we are advising them to stop using it. So when we come and then we get you, you are in... You you will be you be in serious problem because this woman, as she has said, she know where she has she consecrated these things from. These are just as about, and we are going to use this thing and take that woman on. Sanitizers, liquid soap, tissue, and nose masks were distributed to households to help prevent the spread of the deadly coronavirus.